Hey guys, welcome back to another short and quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to enable transparency in Blender. So typically when you render an image in Blender, you are going to have a background just like this, right? But let's say you don't want that background. I am going to show you how to cut that out. So let's go ahead and take a look. In your render settings over here, you're going to pop open this thing called film, right? So this is uh, your render properties and then you're just going to click on transparent. And that is literally it. Now, if you go to rendered view, you're going to see this checkered background. And if you unclick transparent, you'll see it disappear. That is literally it. And then when you render, you now have a transparent PNG with an alpha channel. It's that simple. And that is the tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. It's literally just one toggle switch to enable that. Now, keep in mind, if you do have a background behind your cube, like I'm going to show you right now, if you have, let's just say you have a giant sphere behind your cube like that and it's scaled way 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 up now if you have this in the background and you go to render just keep in mind that will also be there however let's say you didn't want that to be there you wanted it to affect the cube and maybe have a shadow but you don't want it to actually show up in the render one of the ways you can do this is you can click on the camera and then you can adjust this end right here so you see there's this little value that says end on the right i'm just going to adjust that to 10 and then as you guys can see, this basically is how far the camera sees. So right now it can only see the edge of this cube, but if we move this up, now we can just see the cube. But if we move it a little bit further back, you can start to see the sphere. If you get it just right and you hold shift when you toggle this little slider, at about 13.1 meters, that looks just perfect. So now that cube is still there, but we can't see it when we go to render, right? Now if we adjust the end a little bit more, now we can see a little bit of that sphere. And I just wanted to show you guys that trick because a lot of you guys are going to have issues with clipping and other things like that. You really don't want to do this because you're not seeing the full object. You're going to have some really weird renders, but if this is what you're looking for, then that's great. And guys, that is how you make a transparent background in Blender. F12 is the shortcut to render that. We are in the EV engine that works the same in cycles. You guys should be good to go. You can now render your transparent images. All right, guys, have a great day and I will talk to you guys soon.